All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cutter. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well now, that's ironic. Come on, you got this one's mine!
Get him! Need to spill more drink! Come on, now, let's break it up, will ya? You're not too... Yeah, thanks. Hold on. Nasty. Come on. Just, just give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Gonna need a plunger. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Yeah. And get out the back. Stop! Let's go. <laughs> Oops. Oh, crap. Oh, damn it. <laughs> come here, come here. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. You've had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protégé, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets, or blood, or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back! Cut her! Oh, no. Oh, shut, shut up. up. You fool. Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What?
Ah, oh, crap. Agarré, ratita callejera. Suerte, perro. Su clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Quédate afuera. Pendejo. Aquí lo tiene. That's a ticket. Gracias. Adiós, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. your friend. Crap! 
work to me, viejo! Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Holy crap! He has the ring! Chains! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Ugh. Shit! Oh, crap! Who the hell are these guys? What we have here. <laughs> Whoops. Are you all right? What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Come on. 
You're okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense. But I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Solomon. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but... Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so... Like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well... Anyway... I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So, it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plundered treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. What? Drake, huh? Okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. And 
They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. Bet you were gonna put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All that racket's gonna bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. <laughs> all right, Broad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. Yeah, I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> oh, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? No. <sighs> Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. No one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? Man, I was sorely tempted to just pick up that briefcase right there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy book. Trust me, that's nothing compared to what you want. Yeah, well, it's my age, it's worth the hand. Yeah. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. <sighs> Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. <sighs> Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. <clears throat> I'm sure this is the right one. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. <laughs> For a goddamn cadabra. Um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Uh, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Seriously, who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Four hundred years of searching. Finally. Drake's secret? will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. 
We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. This is quite the operation they got going here. Look at all this stuff. Ew. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... Do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, Wise S. Belong to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. Here we go. L O H D N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. No shit, long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Just shut up. It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's got to be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. What the hell? Of course. There it is. I found it. Where? Up there. The figurehead from Drake's ship. <clears throat> oh shit! It's a trap! They're here! Take cover! <clears throat> To Arabia. <laughs> Mate, you can use an LL here. Come on, Nate, let's go. What the hell are you doing? Grab the journal and the cipher disk. Got it. Go.
So then the guy says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job, well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D.? John D., one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time. He's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original 007, you see, look, 007. Not really that relevant. So it was John D. who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth. And Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million-dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia... Great film. He was an archaeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history. Everything to do with knights and the Crusades. And he traveled all over, documenting every Crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you've lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names. Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second, because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah. Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> End of the line, I guess. Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> What? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. Yeah. This way. Watch your step. Who? I don't know, kid. You sure we're in the right place? Doesn't seem old enough to be a crusader castle. I've been reading my books again, have you, Sully? <laughs> now, Lawrence says the original castle was built in the 11th century. The rest was added on later. <laughs> yeah? 
What's this, Mr. Wizard? Lawn art. Pretty tacky. <laughs> now, the knight who owned this castle, Lord Godfrey, returned from the Crusades in the 12th century. According to Lawrence, all that's left of the original castle is the square keep and the gardens. If Godfrey brought any secrets back from Arabia, that's where we're gonna find him. Hey, look at this. What the hell? It's one of Talbot's men. It was? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? I have no idea, but I sure as hell don't like it. It's pitch dark in here. Want to give us some light? Sure. Oh, looks like some sort of laboratory, doesn't it? Yeah, this stuff's got to be at least 400 years old. Hey, a little more light, Sully. Got it. Hmm. Seems to be an alchemist's lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Hey, look at this. Sabian script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. There's some sort of message written here in a Nokian script. Think you can decipher it? No. The altar guards the entrance to the underworld. Huh. Well, he did use magic to conjure spirits. Yeah, or the altar could be hiding a secret passage. Oh. Right. Help me push. Crafty old bastard. Why, thank you. Not you. John D. Oh. Well, you're crafty too. And old. Ah, oh, here we go. Sully, give me a light. Yeah. Ah, much better. You know, one of these days, you're really gonna have to start carrying your own matches. What are you talking about? Got it. Good job. Hmm. Looks inviting. Watch yourself. Lord Godfrey, I presume? The one and only. This is it. Here, hold this, way. Sure. Look, it's some sort of amulet. There's something written here. <sighs> Gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. It's in Sabean's script. That'd be from ancient Yemen, all right? Yeah, exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. I wouldn't recommend that. Shit. <laughs> nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. 
Come on, Nate. What is that? Oh my god. What the hell? Stay in the light. Get it. Quickly. Get it off me! Get it off me! God! Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? We gotta find a way out of here fast. Stay close. Torch is going. Come on, come on. Give me a hand! Here! Come on! Jesus Christ! They're coming from everywhere! Oh, Gully! Come on! Come on, we gotta go! Go! Nathan! Come on, run! You're clear. Huh? Yeah. But me. You're right. Oh, you're good. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's not go back in there. I think that's a good idea. Hey, that'll work. Yeah. Just like I planned. Now we gotta find a way down. Oh, hold on. Shh, shh, shh. <clears throat> Empty those cans. Every last drop. What the hell are they doing? Burn the whole place down. Oh no. Sully, we gotta get out of here. There's the door!
That was close, huh? You all right? Oh, yeah. <coughs> Just swell. Here, just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? They think we're in that. We almost were. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this. No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for them now? Nobody's talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had you back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere. Obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were oh, followed... shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. Sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around. Damn it. Still can't reach either one of them. Something is definitely not right. How long till this place opens? We got a few more hours before the tour buses start showing up. Then we better hustle. Chain's been cut. Okay, so we know we're not the first ones here. Yeah, as long as Marlo and Talbot think we're dead, we got the element of surprise. It's not wasted. Right. So, we sneak in. We find out where they're holding Chloe and Cutter. If they're holding them. Glass half full, Sully. I'm just saying, these guys don't seem like the hostage-taken type. Let's just go with best-case scenario for now, okay? We rescue Cutter and Chloe, and the four of us just sneak back out. <laughs> right. Sneak back out. It could happen. Mm-hmm. Why aren't you in France? We're rescuing you? From what? Uh, we thought you were captured. Or worse. Wait, why? <laughs> uh, well, uh, Talbot ambushed us at the Chateau. It was a trap. Yeah, we figured they must have followed you too. Well, yeah, they're definitely here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So we might want to think about keeping it down a little. Uh, what happened to you two? We've been trying to reach you for over 24 hours. Oh, right, I need to top up my minutes. You're using a prepaid phone? Mate, those contracts are a complete ripoff. <laughs> what? Mine's broken. Again? Look. Just forget all that. You'll never guess what we've discovered. I've got it all in here. <laughs> Not only did Elizabeth's spy network stretch all the way over here, but they were all part of some sort of hermetic secret society. The British Occult Secret Service, the School of Night, the Hellfire Club, the Order of the Golden Dawn, they're all connected. So John D And Francis Walsingham, and Walter Raleigh, and even your mate Drake, they were all in on it. But for them, it was all about the power. Controlling their enemies through espionage, deception, fear. Hey, guys. Wait, 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 wait. So Marlo and her crew... Are the same secret order 400 years on. We cut to the goddamn chase, please. Yeah, we really need to keep moving. Sure, sure. Here, look. Quad est superius. As secret quod est inferius. As above, so below. That's the key to all of this. We need to get to the highest point of this castle. <laughs> Thus, the stairs. Well done. We should be able to find our way into the crypts with this clue. The entrance has got to be hidden here someplace. There. That's the highest tower. Okay. So we just need to make our way Look across... Out. Oh, shit. Bollocks. Get down. 
Now what? All right, the only way to the tower is through them. Great. Whatever happened to that sneak-in, sneak-out plan? You what? We can't quit now. Yeah, not when we're so close. Come on, we'll find a way around them. <laughs> They're here. We just have to find them. Just wait till they get them. Up this way. Come on. Up here. Hey, keep us covered, all right? Yeah, we'll just hurry it up, lads, okay? Yeah, we're sitting ducks out here. <laughs> I here. You see? As above, so below. We're definitely in the right spot. Yeah, yeah, but the right spot for what? Well, the Crusaders would have hidden the entrance to the crypt somewhere in plain sight. Wait a sec. Yeah, look. That same symbol appears on Drake's map. Right next to this. Of course, Ursa Minor, the North Star. The one fixed point in the night sky. So if we follow that down to the castle, what do you bet it points right to our hidden entrance? Can I see that? Yeah, yeah. I want it back, though. Use the scope, mate. I will, I will. If you're not going to use the scope, give it back. I'll find it. I'm good. I found it. All right, now let's see if we can find that entrance. Should be directly below the North Star. There it is. Well, that's hidden in plain sight, all right. Um... Guys! Yeah, just a minute. It can't be that simple, can it? Nate! Look out! Get down! Uh, 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 uh. Run for it! Ah, uh, shit! Come on, you guys! Hurry it up! Jesus! What the hell's wrong with these guys? They're destroying this place! Come on, we gotta move now. Ready? Go! Right! It's all clear! Come on! Come on, Nate! Come on! Find a way around to meet up with you. Watch out! Crap! Hey, hey, look! Where's the town? What about Sully and Chloe? They're fine. Look, 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 look. It's right there. We've got to check it out. No, I don't think that's a very end he's got. Great. Better do this quietly. Stay together. Hunt them down. Come on, this way. You got it. <laughs> oh. This is a... Yes. Oh. I know it couldn't be that simple. Wait, 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 wait. It, it wasn't a storage room a thousand years ago. No, 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 mate. We are missing something. Hey, hold on, hold on. Thus, the stairs. Well done. No. Give it to me. Good. Now the journal.
Thank you. Don't trust Drake. The hell's Charlie? Who knows? No, no, no! He's gone. How in the world? Hey, Charlie, you okay? Huh? Charlie? What the hell? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man, what kind of black ops bullshit is this? Let's just hope he didn't have a big dose. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. Easy now. Look at me. Charlie, right here. Come on, we gotta move now, okay? Just don't touch me. Get away from me. All right, all right. No one's touching you, Charlie. What the hell was in that dart? Your face is peeling off. Well, whatever it was, he's tripping balls. Charlie, listen. Hey, you're okay. Get up! I won't let you take me. Hey, nobody's taking you anywhere. Just, just come with us, okay? Yeah. Oh, no. The floor's melting. Charlie! No! Stop! Charlie, cut her! Charlie! 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 No! Get what back! You... Don't! Charlie, you're killing Nate. Okay, you gotta listen to me. You are killing Nate. Charlie! <coughs> Jesus. Here. Here we go. I'm all right. Here we go. I'm all right. You weren't. <laughs> you weren't gonna shoot me, were you, mate? Like a rabid dog. Wow. Let's try this again. I'll go first this time. Oh, shit. Hey. Drop your weapons. Yeah, I don't think so. Well then, what a dilemma. We seem to be equally matched. Until the rest of my men show up, that is. We can wait. Oh no. Guys? Charlie? Oh, god damn it. Well, that changes things a bit, doesn't it? Now drop your guns. Why don't you go cut and shoot him? No. Wait. Just stop. Okay? Better, isn't it? Shoot him. You son of a bitch. Cutter, pull the trigger. My pleasure. Run! Oh, shit. Come on, Cutter. You can't make it. Okay, what can we do? What can we do? Charlie. What the hell? You didn't get very far, did you? Hand it over. Piss off. There's nothing we can do, kid. Jesus, this is unbearable. Uh. <laughs> oh, Carter. I had such high hopes for you. It's true. You had potential. Now, well, it's funny how things work out, isn't it? You betray my trust, and now we find ourselves here. As if it were in the cards all along. Charlie! 
Oh, shit! Bollocks! Don't move! Don't move! Oh, Jesus, my leg! Don't touch it! It's broken! I know it's broken. Just easy does it, mate. Hang on. Nate, look at this. Oh, what the hell? This way! Okay, we can't stay here. Oh, just leave me the gun. I'll kill those bastards. No way. We're getting you out of here. Come on, get up. Oh, I got him. You, got you cover us. Okay. Go! Uh, okay, okay. The bus. We're taking the bus. Well, that won't attract any attention. Morning. Not worth the price of admission, folks. Here we go. One. Two. And a point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Right here. All right. I got this. You take care of him. Uh, here they come. Sully, get us out of here. Looks like we lost him. All right. I'll find some place to ditch the bus. Great. You doing all right? Oh, fabulous. <laughs> that was too close. He'll be okay. No, I mean the whole thing. It just isn't worth it, Nate. Let this one go. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't just give up. If you let these bastards win, after this, I will never bloody forgive you. Don't you worry, Charlie. There's no way I'm letting them win. What is it with you? What are you trying to prove? I'm not trying to prove anything. Right. So what's the plan, kid? Uh, I guess I'm going to Yemen. You up for it? <laughs> of course I am. All right, we gotta find a quick way in. No hassles. I might know someone we could call. Who? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You got a better idea, I'm all ears. What about... Fine. Make the call. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh, no. Sorry, that's sort of frowned upon here. Oh, right. You two can hold hands, though. <laughs> How are you, Elena? Good, thanks. You, uh, you look great. So, against my better judgment, these permits will get you through most checkpoints. Okay. Oh, and I shouldn't be worried about what's in those bags, right? <laughs> of course not. No. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> All right. Remember, you're journalists now. So try and act respectable. Think you can handle that? I think she's talking to you. 